Hey, so everything you have to do to create your search engine with OpenSolar is just create your own index. I'm going to assume you guys already have that. And um, once you have it created, you just go to the web crawler here and you're going to enter your URL and set up a few options here that are pretty self-explanatory. And uh, when you start, you might want to start over and then you just click on start. You should see a few um, uh, messages here, but these could be quite confusing at times. Uh, if you want to refresh this uh, status here, you just cl keep clicking here in the web crawler, right? And then you have the stats where you can see live stats of the crawler. And as you can see, it's done. And you get to click on search UI and there you have it. This is the search engine. If you try to search for web crawler right now, you also get uh, autocomplete and this is it these are the results um, a example for indexing documents and i'm just gonna add this in right now it's at opensource.com slash docs these are some miscellaneous documents pdf documents if i click it i'm gonna see these are the documents so if i uh, go ahead and i reset the index right now because i want to bring it back to zero i'm gonna Okay, so I have no data. Um, the stats are still the same, but then if I go to query, I can see that there's no data in here, right? So what I want to do now is again, go to setup, try to start over, clear my cache from before and leave the rest untouched except for this, include images and documents this time. And I'm going to click on start right uh, you can also see the stats if you go to the stats uh, you can see 90 done 112 to do if you refresh this this is going to keep updating live and you can get this via the automation rest apis if you want to programmatically get these stats and uh, i don't do like a pie chart or something in your own uh, application if i go on to the search here and i can see i have 215 uh, records so let's just grab one pdf uh, and try to search for it let's just say i'm going to want to search for something inside of this document right i can search for let's uh let's say decknet addressable host right i'm gonna i'm gonna search for this right okay here we go and if I hit enter, there we go. Now it also has the um, created date. Everything is being extracted. Uh, if you go here and uh, I'm gonna show you how to filter this and only get the PDF files here. So uh, you're gonna do FQ equals file uh, meta file type PDF, right? You only have 98, so there are 98 uh, PDF documents in here and uh, I want to list uh, more than two. Let's say I want to list uh, 20 per page. All right. Uh, I also want to see some of the meta information and I go um, and FL equals meta uh, title URI and uh, what else? Uh, maybe that's it and creation date, right? You get all the documents indexed into solar and uh, pretty much every field here like creation date uh, this is a important field because uh, this allows you to search uh, within a date range i'm not going to do this right now but if you have any images and the images have the gps location just like any smartphone images uh, have these days uh, you're going to be able to have you're going to have a field uh, with the coordinates uh, latitude and longitude and then you're going to be able to perform uh, solar search by radius so you input some coordinates and it's going to find every image within a certain distance that you input um, <clears throat> in the solar request all right so <clears throat> there you have it you can create your search engine for your website, uh, index and uh, search through documents. Just a few easy clicks. There you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.